Patriot Missile vs Iron Dome. First up is the Patriot Missile System. Patriot was used initially as an anti-aircraft system, it was later upgraded to provide limited capability against tactical ballistic missiles as PAC-1. The most recent upgrade, called PAC-3, is a nearly total system redesign, which was intended from the outset to engage and destroy tactical ballistic missiles. The Patriot system has four major operational functions, communications, command and control, radar surveillance, and missile guidance. The four functions combine to provide a coordinated, secure, integrated, mobile air defense system. The Patriot system is modular and highly mobile. A battery-sized element can be installed in less than an hour. A single canister can hold four PAC-3 missiles and a battery will have 96 missiles as the Patriot radar is capable of determining whether or not an aircraft is manned or not and which of multiple re-entering ballistic objects are carrying ordnance. The Patriot system gained notoriety during the Persian Gulf War of 1991 with the claimed engagement of over 40 Iraqi Scud missiles, but those claims became a source of controversy. The system was successfully used against Iraqi missiles in the 2003 Iraq War and has been also used by Saudi and Emirati armed forces in the Yemen conflict against Houthi missile attacks. The Patriot system achieved its first undisputed shootdowns of enemy aircraft in the service of the Israeli Air Defense Command. Israeli Mine 140 batteries shot down two Hamas youths during Operation Protective Edge on August 31, 2014, and later, on September 23, 2014, an Israeli Patriot battery shot down a Syrian Air Force Satwa Su-24 which had penetrated Israeli-controlled airspace, achieving the first shootdown of a manned enemy aircraft in the world for the system. Now let's take a look at the Iron Dome. Iron Dome is a mobile all-weather air defense system. The system is designed to intercept and destroy short-range rockets and artillery shells fired from distances of two and a half miles to 43 miles away and whose trajectory would take them to a populated area. The system will not fire if the rock or artillery shell is not going to land in a populated area. The typical air defense missile battery consists of a radar unit, missile control unit, and several launchers, all located at the same site. However, the Iron Dome is built to deploy in a scattered pattern. Each launcher, containing 20 interceptors, is independently deployed and operated remotely via a secure wireless connection. Each battery is capable of protecting an urban area of approximately 150 square kilometers. Each battery has three launchers loaded with up to 20 Tamir interceptor missiles totaling 60 missiles during the current Israel-Palestine crisis. 4,340 plus rockets have been fired at Israel by Hamas from Gaza by the 13th of May 2021. In the first 24 hours of the conflict 470 rockets were fired, a much higher rate than had been attained in previous conflicts. About 400 of the first 1,600 fell short and landed in Gaza. The Iron Dome system blocked 90% to 95% of the remainder according to differing reports by the AP and the Israeli armed forces. Now let's run some numbers. The Iron Dome costs 40,000 to 100,000 per missile, while the Patriot's PAC-3 missiles cost around 3 million per missile. The advantage is clear so one point to the Iron Dome. Now, let's go over total missiles. The Iron Dome has 60 missiles per battery, while the Patriot has 96 missiles per battery. The Patriot has 36 more missiles per battery and takes the point. For target detection range both are listed as 62 miles plus. So it is a draw in this category. The operational range of the Iron Dome is 43 miles, while the Patriot is 22 miles giving the point to the Iron Dome. Let's talk about mobility now. It is advantageous for systems to be mobile. The Iron Dome is not mobile, while the Patriot is advertised as a highly mobile system. Patriot takes the point. The success rate of the Iron Dome is claimed to be around 90 to 95 percent, while the Patriot success rate is a highly disputed topic, so we will give a point to the Iron Dome. Can they defend against an aircraft? The Iron Dome can take out drones, but not fighter aircraft, while the Patriot system can take down aircraft and has multiple kills of enemy aircraft on record. The Patriot system takes the point.
the Iron Dome scored three points, while the Patriot system scored three points to sum it up. The Iron Dome is area coverage for numbers of small rockets and artillery shells fired from the suburbs. Patriot is for far higher performing missiles, planes, ballistic and cruise missiles from much farther away. Smaller numbers, more expensive coverage. The Iron Dome is closer to an area coverage version of land phalanx against more numerous, lesser performing targets than the latter faces the winner, in the end, would depend on what types of threats the system would be facing. That's all for now, if you liked the video please like and subscribe.